Hi, I'm Donna Risto, financial advisor with Edward Jones. The European debt crisis, unemployment, and speculation about recession have all been in the headlines recently. Navigating in the current market volatility can be a challenge. If you're wondering what lies ahead, I'd like to meet with you. Let's work together to make sure you're ready for the ups and downs of the market. Donna Risto, financial advisor, 855-1726, 855-1726. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. You might think you're looking at a couple of friends having a drink in a bar. Well, yes and no. On the right is my friend Roger Galloway, host of Speak Out on KNTR Radio. On the left, another friend, Sergeant Keith Huskisson of the Lake Havasu City Police Department. Roger is having rum and coke. Several, in fact. Sergeant Huskisson is having water. Why do you care? Well, it's all part of a drunk driving demonstration. Roger did the show from Mad Dog's Bar and Grill Thursday, the subject, drunk driving. And to make the point, Roger agreed to see how quickly he would become impaired and all to remind us of the tragedies that happen every day because of drunk driving. Holiday weekends are usually busy for law enforcement. People gather for picnics, parties, and all kinds of fun things. Drinking is usually part of that fun. This demonstration shows how you would be field tested should you be stopped. And despite all the warnings, nearly 11,000 car accident fatalities are attributed to alcohol-impaired driving every year. Every 30 minutes, someone dies in an alcohol-related crash. Alcohol is a factor in 6% of all traffic crashes and over 40% of all fatal accidents. Now, as a footnote to all of this, the National Transportation Safety Board wants to lower the legal blood alcohol limit that determines a drunken driver. Currently, all 50 states have set a BAC blood alcohol content level of 0.08, reflecting the percentage of alcohol by volume in the blood. If a driver is found to have a BAC level of 0.08 or above, he or she is subject to arrest and prosecution for drunk driving. The National Transportation Safety Board is recommending dropping the blood alcohol limit to 0.05. Mind you, we have made progress. 30 years ago, an average 20,000 people were killed in drunk driving crashes a year. But shouldn't we be aiming for zero? Now, be assured, Roger didn't drive home after this little experiment. He had a designated driver, and so should the rest of us. I'm sure Sergeant Huskisson would be delighted to never have to respond to another alcohol-related death, ever. Jim Matthews, Havasu Video News.